Tonight, we're following up on a deadly stabbing in Moraine that you saw first on WDTN.com. Right now, the accused killer, Chantal Spears, is on the run. Megan O'Rourke just got off the phone with investigators and tells us what she's learned. Just in the last hour, detectives issued an arrest warrant for Spears on one count of murder. They say she killed her boyfriend. Investigators tell me it was the victim's ex-girlfriend, though, who reported the stabbing after she watched the deadly attack in front of her home. 911, what's your emergency? It was a 36 old Mills and a girl, she's in a Grand Prix with 30 day tags going straight up Gettysburg, and she pulled up and stabbed my friend. 32 year old Delshawn Jones's ex girlfriend calmly calls for help while he's face down on the sidewalk with a stab wound to his chest. By the time medics arrived, witnesses say Jones had stopped breathing. He later died at the hospital. Based on the getaway car's description, police almost immediately identified Jones's current girlfriend, Chantel Spears, as a suspect. I found these Marine police reports that showed this isn't the first time Spears has been to the Charlotte Mill Drive home. In April, Jones's ex filed this report, claiming she was being harassed. I went to the home today to talk to her. She asked not to be shown on camera, but tells me she is scared for her own safety. She says she knew Jones was in a jealous relationship, but never expected it to escalate to death. She says she did what she could to try and save Jones's life while waiting for help to arrive. We obtained 911 call logs, which show it took emergency crews just over four and a half minutes to respond. That's just slightly longer than Moraine Fire's average. The deputy chief tells me it's department policy to wait for a police escort before sending crews into any potentially violent situation. Now, the victim and the suspect do have a seven month old baby together. Police are searching for Spears, who they think may have that infant with her. Reporting live, Megan O'Rourke, 2 News, working for you.